Guys, here they are. Oh my gosh, this old man's dream's coming true. Hello and good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having a good start to your day. It's Tuesday, although it feels like Monday today. Kids just got home from school and they brought home their delicious lunch. You guys, this is kind of torture because some days their lunch sounds so good, I wish I had it. I have no good lunch options for me in the house. That's a bummer. I would microwave something, but the microwave's broken. Update on the microwave. This is really silly to talk about, but I found a different microwave that I loved. It's so pretty, it'll go perfect. Nope, guess what? Because when we did our backsplash in our kitchen last year, whenever we remodeled, I think it was actually this year, whenever it was, we redid the kitchen, we added this backsplash, but guess what? Backsplash goes up to the microwave. The other one that I found I really like is just a teeny bit shorter, but if I go with that option, I'll have a gap where my backsplash is missing. I'm kind of stuck with this microwave. The bad news is about this microwave, it is on back order until November 10th. That's super lame. So I'm going to order it and we are going to wait a month for it to come. Until then, we're going to have this one sitting on the counter. <laughs> it looks terrible. At least we have one. Island. Yeah, we're gonna cook on the island and be at the Cook Island. Kids are here having their amazing lunch. Today, what are they called? No clue. They're like little teeny tiny pizza pockets. They look really good. Yeah. Are they good, Brex? Yeah. Yeah, they're super yummy. Kids are eating lunch. Is it really I yummy? I kind of want to change my shirt because I might get chocolate milk on it. Oh, let's just be very careful. Kirby just ran upstairs for something. Crew did have a good day today. With his face, he said a lot of people asked him how he was feeling, how he was doing, what happened. Kids have broken into their homework for the day as we do after school, but I had to show you they've done some back to school pictures are back you guys check this out Rye guy looking fly now these are just like the proof so they have like watermarks across them he's not got a tattoo across his nose there that's Rye guy's picture what are you thinking Rye guy keeping that one or retaking retakes Rye guy said a hard retake on his we got Brexy doodle here I think his is great it's his nice soft smile he may want to do it again as long as we're doing retakes anyway smile a little bit harder pretty soft smile crew where's yours dude Kruby dooby do check it out dude that is looking good now something's different on this one let me see you now and then hmm <laughs> you're probably not gonna do retakes this week I would think right yeah no. yeah, no, maybe let that face come back together. But I think yours are solid, dude. You don't need retakes. That's about as good as I've ever seen. Amazing smile. Braceless. Didn't even have braces for this one. Dude, that's a fantastic pick. Hair's on point. I'd keep it. So you're good. My guy's a potential retake. No, Rye guy's a hard, for sure, fast and furious retake. Brex has a potential retake, and we don't know where Hazy's are. They're not in her backpack. She's not sure where they are. So we're waiting. Hazy's. I mean, come on, of all of them. We want to see Hazy's. It's her first one, her kindergarten picture. A little princess in her school uniform. No pictures. Waiting for those. Also, guys, I'm a little offended because uh came downstairs after having shaved, and Mindy didn't even notice. Didn't say a thing, so. Uh, you scared the crap out of me. I, I, I straight. did get potentially one of the best scares in the Mindy scare project. It is, keep in mind, her scare project, but I just thought to spice things up this year, we'd throw in a little extra bonus scare here and there, so I'm gonna be scaring. Rai guy's gonna be scaring. He's mostly gonna be scared. We're gonna be doing some additional scares. I may have landed the best one, certainly so far this month. That was the moment I came down with a shaved face, so maybe she didn't notice because of that, but maybe that's what it feels like when she goes and gets her hair done, and it's a very subtle, negligible difference. I don't make a huge deal out of it. Maybe that's the same thing. You never notice when I get my hair done. When was a lot? Have you done your hair in the last? Oh, you are terrible. <laughs> I actually washed my anyway. hair today. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, you do. I noticed that actually. Yeah. It looks very washed. Uh, <laughs> so does my face. Anyways, where do we want to go from here? You have I a special package coming today. Did you tell them? Yeah, okay, I haven't said anything about this. We mentioned this when we went shopping for something. Oh, Maddie's birthday present, right? So you didn't yeah. see that video. We went shopping for Maddie's birthday present. Ended up finding myself something kind wow, of exciting. Wow, I think kind that of happened fun. on my birthday shopping too. You ended up buying yourself more stuff than I bought. Wait, is that true or are you just throwing that in here? I don't think that actually happened. No, it really did. But it was a little bit embarrassing that we couldn't find anything at this particular store for Maddie, but we were able to find me something. My very first pair of Vans shoes. The slip-on, checkered style, traditional, classic Vans shoes. Yeah. But with a little Brandon Bingham twist. So those are supposed to arrive today. Cannot wait to show them to you. In fact, in the video where we went shopping for Maddie's birthday, I asked you guys to guess which pair you thought I picked up. Mindy said they were pretty Brandon. Uh, I want to know you guys. Smash the like button if you think you figured that out. If you think you know what the pair is, when it gets here, I'll reveal to you which ones I ended up going with. I think you're going to love them. Crazy. Brexy, are you reading about manatees, dude? Do you realize that you have pet one in real life? <laughs> I 
and I don't think we found out after the fact that you're not supposed to touch them, but we didn't know that at the time. Oh, yeah, that's right. It swam underneath our paddleboard in Puerto Rico. We were in like the harbor in San Juan, and a gigantic manatee swam right up to us and like was just hanging out with us, following us. And Brexton got a chance to pet it at first. Remember, you were a little bit nervous, a little bit scared. And then after a while, I got on video. Brex reaches out and touches the sea manatee. I just love when real world experience collides with in school learning. You're learning about manatees in this book. You'd normally just be reading it and go, oh, those seem cool, and you'd move on. But you have direct experience seeing one, touching and one. And now manatees have hair. Well, they do. That's pretty rad, man. And that's what we love about being able to travel. And we can't wait to be able to go back out and get some of that real world learning. Combined with the in school learning is like the ultimate combination. So sometimes you pick up things on those experiences traveling and just in life in general. You can't be taught in the classroom, or if you do learn it in a classroom, it doesn't have the same impact or effect as it would if you were able to experience it in real life. So very cool when we see those two worlds collide like that. It doesn't get much better than this. Now, I'm not able to help the kids with all of their homework. Some of the stuff is a little more advanced than what I'm capable of doing. But anytime the homework actually involves a science project with Skittles, I feel like I'm uniquely qualified to help out with that. So I'm, I'm qualified. <laughs> I think that this family is uniquely qualified to do that. So today, Crew has a scientific method experiment called the Skittles Project. We are breaking out some Skittles, colored pencils, crayons, paper towels, calculators, everything we need for a delicious scientific experiment. <laughs> Skittle college crayons, calculator, paper towel, fun size bag. I think this looks like a lot more fun than this size. Okay, whatever. Okay, what's the next step? Take a look at the wrapper and then you write down the different colored candies that you see in the bag. You can't open the bag until step three. So based on the packaging, what would you say? And then it also says you can ask an expert, which would be of course your dad. So right now he's got to film our hypothesis where he guesses how many Skittles are in the bag total. But then by like totally guessing, he's got to guess how many of each color there are. So to finish the sentence off, you say, I believe that there are this many Skittles in the bag. How many you guess? Then we got to do each color. There are 10 green, five red, whatever you want to say. We've hypothesized, we believe that there are 14 candies in here. Your total tally was four purple, two orange, five red, one green, and two yellow. We're about to break this open and see how close you were. Now it says no eating yet. No eating yet. <laughs> oh. oh. Fifteen. You're off by one. That's not too bad. <laughs> All right, crew, while you're writing your conclusion paragraph there, I'm just gonna go and test a hypothesis here really quick. Hmm, yep, they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Just had a knock at the door, a little drop, a little bing bong baby at the door, a little drop of a package. I've been waiting for an arrival of sorts, as you guys know. Let's check it out, see what it is. I think I know what it is. Guys, here they are. Oh my gosh, this old man's dreams coming true. Drop in this thing. Good thing it's not electronics, huh? I'll carry it, because I'm not clumsy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kirby Doo, because you are probably the local authority, Rai got you as well, on Vans shoes. Why don't you crack this open, dude? Why don't we show everybody what dad got for his first pair of Vans shoes? <laughs> Now you guys haven't seen these yet. Oh Woo! my god. What do you guys think? So you. <laughs> is that pretty good, guys? I these love <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh, it has a checkered powder that inside. That is sick in the inside. These are the ones I went with, you guys. They kind of have like a 80s, 90s vibe yes, to them, I feel like. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like. Almost like, I don't know, a little bit of that new Wonder Woman movie that's supposed to be coming out. Cyberpunk style. I don't know, there's some, oh, look, there's some feel that. to this. Look Different at colors. Vans, I love it. Okay, so the official name of these are the Crazy Check. I don't even know where else you can get them. We saw them at Journeys. They had them in kids and adults. And so I snagged myself a pair. I figured you guys would be proud of my very first pair of Vans shoes. What do you guys think? Comment below if you're able to smash the like button if you like them. Did you guess this? Did you guess that this was gonna be my first pair when I showed you all those different shoes on the rack? Did you choose this one? Is this the one you had your eye on? I think a lot of you probably did. Clean dirty. <laughs> Now that we've got these bad boys out, we've taken a look at them, we love them, they fit, they're the perfect pair of vans for an old man like me. Now, it's time to put them to the test. Woo!
They handle pretty well right here out in front of the house, but I think it's time we take these bad boys on the road. Heck yeah. Wait, I even have my vans on. You got vans? You got vans? And dad finally joins the club with his first pair of vans. Let's go. successfully passed the street test, the road test, the one wheel scooter three mile loop test. Did they pass the Bingham family vans test? Rexy, it'll get on in here, buddy. Get your vans in. Guys, I remember the Mike Sells did this, Brock and Boston. I feel like I remember a picture on Instagram with them doing this and I was like, oh, that's cool. The whole family has them. But that's because Gentry's cool and he can wear vans. I'm not cool, I can't wear vans. Well, guess what, everybody? I don't know that I'm cool enough, but I got now vans. You're cool enough. <laughs> I don't think I'm cool enough, but I got vans. So, there they are, my very first pair ever of all time. I'm in the club, what do you guys think? He did say when he was riding his one wheel, he's like, these are so great grippy on the grip tape. One wheel grip tape, yeah. It was like I was stuck on that thing. It was pretty fantastic. I tried to push so. him off, it didn't work. Yeah. I should probably get going with dinner. Yes, okay, dinner time, let's go. Could we do? Ready for some dinner? What do you feel like eating? Some hamburger? Uh, get I it because you're facing hamburger. Like hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Leftover, <laughs> sorry, we're right. being rude. You're amazing, ah. <laughs> Homework projects going deep into the night tonight. Rye Guy doing a little ice melting experiment. He's created this little house for the ice and then he's added some other elements like paper, tin foil, stuff like that. He pulls it out every how often? Five minutes. Everything. Every five minutes he takes it out, does a reading on it, a temperature, and then he marks that down and continues through the entire like 30 minute total, right? Uh -huh. And he creates a conclusion off of that. So a lot of science going on in the house today. Pretty awesome. They're doing it out here on the porch as the night winds down, sun has set. It is pretty much bedtime, but this dude's out here still cranking out the homework. Mm -hmm. Wrapping this night up, Rye Guy finishing up his project. He's putting all the pieces back. He's finished his scientific experiment outside with the ice cubes. Did a great job, proud of him, spent the entire day making up all of the work that he was missing from the Parent Future Conference. Yeah. So we're gonna take a look at that, check it all off, make sure he's completely done. We have late breaking news. We have a discovery in the house. We found <laughs> Hazel's pictures. How cute are these? Oh my adorable, look at her smile. She's so dang cute. Her cute little quills. What do you think? Retaking, keeping? I Not retaking Not retaking all of them. So okay, cute. Those are keepers. Way to go for now being part of the vans. Hey, club. I'm pretty stoked, you guys. I hope you like them. I do feel like they are the perfect pair of they Bingham vans. They are so bands. you. And, they match and the one on wheel. your one wheel, I was gonna say, like, all the colors just kind of just come together. Oh, so good, so good. We have a fun day plan tomorrow. We are gonna go on a little excursion up the canyon. We're gonna make tinfoil dinners. We're gonna take the pros with us. It'll be a lot of fun. So make sure you come back tomorrow. Guys, we just cracked 990,000 subscribers on YouTube. This is the last 10K, you guys. I just want to enjoy it. This is the last 10K before we go into seven digits, the one million club. It is so crazy. So it's if you insane. haven't and you're here watching This Is Howie Bingham and want to come back for more, subscribe just down below. Just click it, see what happens. Who knows? You might just be entertained for the rest of your life. We love you guys. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.